In the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful. How are you everybody? I hope this video finds you all. In this video, we are going to talk about writing an argumentative essay. I hope you are going to enjoy it. Argumentative essays, what are they? They are formal pieces of writing which discuss the advantages and disadvantages of a topic. Argumentative essay. The argumentative essay is characterized by formality. What is meant by formality? Formality means no contractions or abbreviations. Using compound or complex sentences using present simple. So it's expected from anyone who tries to write an argumentative essay not to use any contractions. It's better to say it is not it. It's better to say are not not aren't. Also, it's better to use complete words, not to use abbreviations such as you, if you want to say television, say television, not TV. The more compound or complex sentences add value to your writing, it's better not to use simple sentences, try to use compound sentences, which have words such as and, but, so, and so on, and complex sentences, words that may have when, while, however, and so on. Also, try to use the present simple tense, not in other tense. Arguments on both sides of the topic are presented in equal detail and the writer's opinion is included in the conclusion. In the argument of essay, it's supposed not to give your opinion in the introduction or any or at any of the body paragraphs, just give your opinion in the conclusion. Argumentative essays include an introduction which states the topic, two main body paragraphs, one presenting arguments for together with justifications, examples, and the other presenting arguments against with justifications and examples. Each main body paragraph begins with a topic sentence that outlines the main idea of that paragraph. The topic sentence is followed by supporting sentences which further explain the idea in the topic sentence. Pay attention. You have to conclude your essay with a conclusion which summarizes the arguments and gives the writer's balanced opinion. Argumentative, argumentative essays are characterized by formal vocabulary, longer sentences, and full verb forms. For example, the impact of television on children has been a subject of heated opinion and scientific research for the last decade. Note that we said that television and we didn't say TV. TV is not accepted at all because it's an abbreviated word for the word television. It's better to say television. Here also we said children and we didn't say kids, for example, because children is more formal than kid. Argumentative essays are characterized by formal linking words to join ideas such as although, whereas, for this reason, etc. Also, argumentative essays are characterized by the use of the passive, it's better to use the passive form, not the active form. It adds a formality to uh, your essay. For example, research was carried. 
Here we use the, the passive form because the passive form adds the formality to your essay. Useful language used when writing argumentative essays. Linkers used to list points such as firstly, to begin with, secondly, thirdly, etc. Also, we could use furthermore, moreover, and finally to list points. Introducing topic sentences, advantages. It's better to use these linkers or phrases. The main advantage of, we can say another advantage is the benefit or the benefits are or is argument in favor of, we can say some or many people are in favor of to introduce the advantages of something. Introducing supporting sentences, justifying points, and giving examples, it's better to use. This is because this means that as a result, for instance, for example, and such as. If we want to introduce contrasting ideas, it's better to use, on the other hand, However, despite, in spite of, we can say despite the fact that or in spite of the fact that and we try to explain our contrasting ideas. Expressing opinion, uh, it's better to use in my opinion, in my view, I believe that or I think that or I feel on balance or other connectors that are used to introduce an opinion. Concluding, if you want to conclude your essay, it's better to use connectors such as in conclusion, all things considered, all arguments considered. To sum up, it seems to me there are and so. A piece of advice. It's advisable to start your argumentative essay with a title. Try to create a title which arises arguments or discussions. To do so, it's better for the title to be a yes or no rhetorical question to motivate the reader or the discussion. The initials of the title words should be capitalized except for the prepositions and articles unless the title starts with. So all the words in the title should start in a capital letter except for the articles or the uh, definite or indefinite articles unless they uh, start, uh, if they st comes at the beginning of the title, they also could be capitalized. How to write an introduction. The introduction should consist of four or two main parts, general statements and a topic statement. The general statements are divided into three, general statement, less general statement, and even less general statement. Finally, the introduction ends in the topic statement. It looks like an inverted triangle. So our introduction looks like an inverted triangle, which looks like this. A general statement comes at the beginning of the introduction, followed by less generic statement and even less general statement or generic statement Finally, your introduction should end with a topic statement. So, the topic statement comes at the end of the introduction, not at the beginning of your introduction. General statements introduce the topic of the essay, give a background information on the topic, The topic statement 
is the last sentence of the introduction. It states the specific topic. It may state the subtopics also. It may state the method of organization of your essay. Now we are going to move to another important point, which is how to write the body paragraphs. The body paragraphs start with the topic statement. The body paragraphs start with the topic statement. The topic statement comes at the beginning of the body paragraphs, not at the end of the body paragraphs like the introduction. The body paragraphs have subsidiary arguments. The body paragraphs include justifications and or examples that support the arguments. The argumentative essay has two main body paragraphs, one presenting arguments for together with justifications and examples that support the opinions and the other presenting arguments against with justifications and examples that support the arguments. It's advisable to start the body paragraphs with the prose paragraphs then the cons paragraph. Each body paragraph should include at least two arguments either for or against supported by justifications and or examples because if you give an opinion or an argument without justifications and examples it's in vain you have to strengthen your arguments and your opinions with justifications and examples now how to write a conclusion how to write the conclusion of your essay the fourth and the final paragraph of the argumentative essay is the conclusion. It tells that you have completed your essay. It summarizes or restates the arguments for, then summarizes or restates the arguments against. It concludes with a final comment or thought of the subject which should be balanced, not best. So, the final comment or the final opinion of the argumentative essay should be balanced, not based to any side. How to write the conclusion? It's better to begin your conclusion using a transition signal such as all arguments considered. I prefer this one. In conclusion, to conclude to sum up, etc. Here is a sample, here is a sample or a model of an argumentative essay. Here is a simple model of an argumentative essay which is considered a sample to you to follow in your writing. You have had a class discussion. This is the prompt of your essay. You have had a class discussion on the following question. Should all children play team sports? Write an essay for your teacher expressing the pros and cons of the topic. The word count should be between 120 and 180 words. Here is the written essay. I think it's better to follow this organization. First, we start with the title, Should All Children Play Team Sports? We have to note here that should is capitalized. All, the initial also is capitalized. Children, capital C, play, capital P, team, capital T, and sports, capital S. This is a question which arouses discussion or debate. This is the introduction. This is the introduction. Let's read it. There has been a lot of discussion recently about the role that sports play in children's lives. 
This is considered a general or a general statement. Most people believe children should play sports, but they are not sure which type of sport is best. This also less generic statement. Team sports or individual sports. It is difficult. It is a difficult issue with both pros and cons. So the topic sentence comes at the end of the introduction paragraph. Let's move to the second paragraph, which is the first body paragraph, which will talk about the pros of children playing in team sports. To start with, this is a linker. It's better to use a linker like this. To start with, there are advantages to team sports. Firstly, another linker, they teach discipline and responsibility. This means that team members dedicate time and effort to do well. Moreover, another linker, team sports encourage children to interact. In particular, it shows them how to get along in large groups. In this paragraph, we discussed the advantages or the pros of children playing in team sports. Now we are going to move to the third paragraph, which will discuss the cons of the topic. However, here is another link. However, is used to introduce contrasting idea. However, there is also a negative side. One point is another link. That team sports are too competitive. For instance, it's used to give examples. They teach that winning is more important than taking part. Furthermore, another important link, I advise you to use it. Some children find playing sports stressful. They may feel under pressure to win all the time. Now we are going to move to the conclusion. On the whole, on the whole is a link that could be used at the beginning of a conclusion such as uh, to sum up or all arguments considered and so on on the whole there are points for and against children playing team sports it teaches valuable qualities and how to get along but it also makes children want to win all the time and could make them stressed perhaps a combination of team and individual sports is the best way forward. Now we came to uh, the end of this video. I hope you got benefited from it. Best of luck. Thanks so much for your attentive watching and listening and best of luck. Thank you. Goodbye.